What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 11 of my Eastside Hockey Manager Early Access Let's Play here with the Toronto Maple Leafs and we've done it. We've reached the playoffs. We've achieved what the board wanted me to achieve this year and we've done it very convincingly with a game to spare. Today we are going to be taking on the Habs in a bit of a kind of a derby game I guess to round up the season but 81 games played. In second, we've had a great, great year, and I'm looking forward to what's going to be a challenging playoff kind of, um, I guess, task at hand in the next kind of few episodes. Still not sure how I'm going to do the kind of playoff episodes, and I'm not even sure on the exact playoff format because I believe it's best of seven kind of series against various teams in a quarter final, semi final, regional final, then a final between the two kind of separate sides of the bracket if someone wants to clarify that for me or correct me let me know but um yeah we've done it and i didn't really expect to get this far but of course we've had a very good tactic that we found we found something that worked for us we've scored 329 goals for if we look at the kind of players and stuff you might notice here kessel injured uh, i've actually had a few injuries and i mean a few there's been a decent amount of players out injured kadri was injured at the end of a few episodes ago Polak got injured for us, Kessel's been injured, Booth's been injured, Fratin's been injured, Stuart Percy's been injured, and they've hit us hard. Fortunately, however, those players are slowly returning back to fitness, and sh most of the key players should be back for the playoffs, which is kind of a relief. But it has kind of hit us hard, I guess. Anyway, just looking at the leagues, you can see here we've done really well. If we look at the player st uh, stats, uh, Van Riemsdyk and uh, Kessel leading the way on the point scoring charts. Ridiculous tallies racked up by them of 125 and 146. Unrealistically high, and I'll fully admit that this game is in early access. But um, still done it. Still a decent achievement. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how they've done. Anyway, today we have got to play the Habs. Um, just looking at a few other bits and bobs here, you can see Kessel, 79 goals. Reemsdijk has finally kind of overtaken Kessel and surpassed his assist total, so it's not a complete Kessel kind of dominant kind of, I guess, listings here. But um, it's been a good year. It's been... I, I'm delighted. I didn't think it was going to go this well. I feel like I've learned a lot through this Let's Play. I feel like I have... A pretty solid understanding of the basics at this point, and that's a massive thank you to everyone who helped out in the comments. Hopefully you've been enjoying watching my progress. Um, the playoffs is going to be a challenge. As I mentioned, it's best of seven series. I think I'll probably end up doing one series, an episode, but I'm still not 100% sure. But, um, yeah, it, it's just been a really, really surprisingly good first year, and I'm really enjoying this game. So, I guess to round up today's kind of season, the regular season, we are going to be playing this game against the Canadians. We do actually have a little bit on the line because Boston are one point behind us and um, are also in our same division and the way that the um, kind of the matchups work in the playoffs, so you have the eight teams from our conference and the eight teams from the other conference will get put in together and whilst I'm not sure on exactly how the draw is done, essentially the higher we can finish in this table, the better off we're going to be in terms of theoretically at least getting an easier draw against a weaker opposition. So anyway, uh, let's just get straight into this game against the Habs. Just a quick look at a few other bits here. You can see our finance is looking pretty solid. Uh, our balance has been slowly going down this year, but that's kind of to be expected. It's a natural thing in kind of sports teams, I guess, that you lose money throughout the year. In terms of other stuff going on, players are doing fairly well in training. As I mentioned, there's a few little injuries which have been slightly bad. Fratin's kind of suffered as a result of his injuries. But for the most part, it's been a, a pretty decent kind of... Um, first year I feel at the team I'm looking forward to the draft a lot particularly with our first round pick still praying that the lottery might go in our favor and we get a nice um kind of first pick but of course that's not likely to happen unfortunately but yeah let's just get into this game against the Habs let's get this game done and dusted of course as I mentioned the playoffs to look forward to if you guys have a recommended format for that or for you think there's some useful information I should know about the playoffs maybe changes in approach I should have towards the playoff matches feel free to leave it in the comments I need all the help I can get really despite how well we've performed in the league we've certainly had our off games and I'm worried that that might cost us a little bit when you're playing the same team over kind of a best of seven series so theoretically needed to beat them four out of seven games it's not an easy task but anyway, uh, this game against the Habs is going to be a challenge. They are one of the teams who did particularly well in our conference. They are in the same division as us. They've not been 
as great as perhaps I expected them to be at the start of the season because they are kind of renowned for being one of the better teams. However, um, you know, we, we've done well and well, that's a good goal. Bozak lights the lamp. I think that was um, Kessel with the assist too. But um, the Habs, I don't want to say they've underperformed, but I expected more from them. And I'm sure they'll want to beat us here in this closing game of the regular season. I don't think it's possible for us to get drawn against them in the playoffs, as we do concede. But, um, yeah, it'd, it'd be kind of cool if we could meet them in the final. I'm not even sure if that's possible. Because, as I mentioned, I'm not 100% sure on the draw of how um, the playoffs is done. I did go on Wikipedia, which has kind of been my reference point for a lot of NHL rules, particularly before I even started my Let's Play. I didn't decide to read up on the playoffs because I just didn't think it was going to happen. Um, but uh, I've kind of tried to read Wikipedia and the, kind of all the long words and rules and stuff just went straight through me. Anyway, I have changed the highlights for Extended for the last 10 minutes of this third period just because nothing's happened. Unfortunately, however, nothing's happened even with the Extended highlights. So let's have a look at the shot charts here. Um, so we've had a lot, lot more shots than uh, the Habs. Looking at more ball plays won, more face-offs won. But we've not made it count on the score sheet. So that's kind of the challenge at hand, I guess, to try and get something here late on. Anyway, we are on the attack and an effort there. Keeper did make the save. But the puck now in the Habs possession. We do pick it back up. It's pretty hard sometimes to keep track of the puck. I have contemplated slowing down the highlight speed. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. I'm just a little bit concerned that if I play on kind of slow speed, it becomes too slow then. Um, but I'm always on board for some feedback and stuff. But anyway, nothing happened. Literally nothing happened in the entire of that. I'm definitely on extended highlights. I am. So we are going to overtime. So I guess an exciting end to the year. And uh, we are into the last two minutes of overtime now because still nothing is happening. Um, I feel like there's a curse going on here. I mentioned curses last episode. The the effort that went into yesterday's thumbnail, or earlier today, I've still not worked out my upload schedule, was a little bit crazy. But anyway, my voice has gone suddenly funny. I guess it's the stress of the game, but I would cough and clear my throat. But that would be horrible for you. You don't, guys don't want to hear me cough, so we're just going to act like we've been shouting on the sideline uh, for a while from behind the, uh, behind the glass, you know. <clears throat> So, I decided to cough. I changed my mind and it's still not clear. Get the ball out or the puck out, boys. What has happened here? It's the stress. I can't handle it. <laughs> oh, boy. Right, we do have a face-off. 20 seconds remaining. Can we make something happen? Can we make it happen? Or are we going to a shootout? Come on, boys. And we lose the face off, and now the Habs with possession. Maybe one last attack here. They're on the attack. Played to the edge of the zone, but we dealt with it. Going to be one last face off. We did give away a penalty there, but with three seconds left, we should be able to hold on to, to take this to overtime. A power play of three seconds for the Habs, and well, they couldn't even get a shot away. We're going to trust our coaches' lineup. This is going to the shootout. I am. Stressed. I want to win this. I would like to finish as high as possible in our conference. And we might need Bernier to come to the rescue. He does make one great save there. Now can Kessel do it? He can't do it. He's missed it. Shocking. The Habs have a chance from their second shootout attempt. And they do take it that time. So now Fowler for us. Our first signing. Can he make it happen? He can't. I swear we're cursed on shootouts. I say that, I think we won the last shootout, I did. and Well, we've not won this one, the Habs are going to route victors. We do still get one point, but I wanted to beat our rivals there, and we've not. They've won the overtime, we've been caught out by that again. I'm not entirely sure what happens with overtimes and stuff in the kind of playoff series. If someone wants to let me know, let me know. But anyway, looking at it, in our Eastern Conference quarterfinal draw... We are going to be taking on the Red Wings. So another one of our rivals. A team who we did fairly well against, to be honest. But um, I believe the kind of rivalry with the Red Wings, at least to my understanding between them and the Leafs, is all kind of well, mostly down to the kind of playoff rivalries and meeting them in big games. You can see here, as I mentioned, we have a lot of games that we're going to be playing in quick succession here because of the way it's done. It's a best of seven. There's four games scheduled initially. I guess more games are scheduled afterwards. Or maybe it's only a, it can't just be a best of four. It must be a best of seven all the way through. Anyway, looking at it, Boston Runes are going to take on the Canadians. So that is a really tough draw for Boston. Boston did really well 
uh, in our league. You can see here that they finished third. We actually ended up topping the group, which is really decent. I'm really pleased about that. I didn't expect that. So that one point was enough against the Canadians, both the Rangers and the Bruins losing. Um, so they've done us a massive favour there. And um, we, we've finished top of the conference, which is a crazy achievement. And it does mean that we've got that easier draw against the Red Wings in eighth, which is kind of what I was mentioning before. So that's pretty nice. Um, the Capitals will take on the Penguins. The Sharks will take on the Ducks in the other division. The Kings will take on Wild. Stars to take on the Preds. And the Blues to take on the uh, Blackhawks. So... Some pretty big games there. I'm kind of happy with our draw. Delighted to win the league. I was a little bit heartbroken at the fact that we lost that game off the shootout. But it hasn't cost us. And it's going to make for an interesting task at hand, I guess. So, uh, that's going to wrap things up from me, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this first regulation season. Of course, we are going to have now the playoffs coming up. If I've misquoted anything, said anything that isn't true, feel free to correct me down below. Hopefully I'll see you soon for those playoff games so if you have enjoyed the episode as always smash the like button if you've got any feedback for the playoffs words or wisdom advice leave them down below and other than that it is me jack and i'll talk to you guys in a bit i'm out <laughs>